In Excel, it's very easy to hide rows and columns. So for example, if we wanted to hide these two rows, we could highlight them, right click, and hide them. The problem with this is it's quite hard to see that there are rows hidden and you can often create errors. So for example, could you easily notice that row 26 here is hidden? So the preferred way for us to hide rows is to use something called group. So if I highlight those two under the data ribbon on the far right here you'll see something called group. What group does is when I click on it it inserts a little plus minus box here and it allows me now to open close at will but most importantly it's very obvious that something is hidden there. We can do many of them, so I'm going to highlight those two and group it, and you'll see now we can open close individual ones. You'll also notice at the top here there's a one and a two. This allows you to do to open or close all of them at the same time. So if I click on the two, they all open. So perhaps that's what you look at the, on the screen when you want to print it click the one and they all close. The benefit of grouping is that you can also nest the groups. So now I'm going to highlight that area there which includes those two and when I say group there's now a third level that gets introduced. So for example I can look at gross profit only or I can open it up look at sales and cost of sales or open up and go even lower. And again, you've got these options here where we can look at that level, that level, and that level. And it's a much easier way to open and close the rows, but more importantly, it's a lot more obvious that something's hidden. And everything we do with the rows, we can do with the columns. So I can highlight perhaps the first three and group it, and you'll see the same thing is possible.